What is going on everyone, Ken also known as Wiltshy here and welcome to another unboxing video. Today I'll be unboxing the Asus Sabertooth Z77 motherboard for you guys. Now this is the last unboxing before you guys get to see my custom computer so let's jump right into it. On the front of the box we have a 5 year warranty symbol as well as the Ultimate Force logo which I personally love. On the right hand of the box we can see that the Z77 is future proof for new graphics cards because it supports PCIe 3.0. Not much else left on the front of the box, let's move on to the back of the box. The Z77 comes equipped with thermal armor, and thermal armor keeps the core components of the motherboard cool. And it also comes equipped with multiple sensors, what ASUS likes to call thermal radar. Another key feature that the Z77 features is tough components. Tough components are the highest grade components on the motherboard you can possibly get from ASUS. It also has been tested for server grade reliability. Let's get technical, shall we? The CPU socket type on the Z77 is the LGA1155 socket, which is for Ivy Bridge and Sandy Bridge Intel processors. The chipset on the Z77 is the Intel Z77 Express chipset. The Z77 has two PCIe 3.0 X16 slots, as well as one PCIe 2.0 X16 slot, as well as three PCIe 2.0 X1 slots. The Z77 supports a max of 32GB of RAM and it can run at 1866MHz. It also has its onboard graphics card as well as it supports NVIDIA SLI as well as AMD Crossfire X and it supports Liquid Logix. The Z77 has the capability of using SATA 3. It has 4 SATA 3 ports as well as 4 SATA 2 ports and 2 eSATA ports. On to the last of the specs, we have the audio card, the Realtek ALC892. Moving on down, we have the Intel 82579V Gigabyte LAN controller. Moving down to the USB section, we have two USB 3.0 ports at midboard. We have four USB 3.0 ports on the back of the motherboard, as well as 10 USB 2.0 ports. There's a flap on the front of the box that can be flipped up to show you some more detailed information on the features of the Z77. Under the flap, we have more detailed information about the thermal armor, the thermal radar, as well as the dust defender, which is a feature of the thermal armor. We also have more detailed information about the tough components, the new DigiPlus power controller, which gives you precise voltage for your parts in your computer, as well as USB BIOS flashback, which is an excellent feature. If you ever break your motherboard, just simply press the button on the back of the motherboard and you're good to go, as well as the network eye control, which controls your bandwidth on your internet connection. On the very bottom, we have more features. We have UEFI BIOS, the USB 3.0 Boost, the USB Charger Plus, the ESD Guard, as well as the AI Suite 2 and Complete USB 3.0. What they mean by Complete USB 3.0, I have no idea. All right, with all these specs and whatnot out of the way, let's unbox the Z77. Let's go ahead and remove that plastic barrier. First up we have the Sabertooth Z77 itself. Under the Z77 on the left hand side we have the dust barriers. Lying underneath the dust barriers we have the four SATA cables. Under the right side of the box on the top we have the IO shield. Next we have one of my favorite additions to this motherboard is the two mini fans that keep the motherboard cool after you turn it off. Next up we have the adapter for the LED lights as well as the power switch and the reset button. We also have the SLI bridge that ASUS was kind enough to give us in the box. Also more stickers, yay! The last and final item in the box is the instruction manual. So let's get a closer look at the Sabertooth Z77 instruction manual. Inside we have the driver CD as well as the sticker inside the sleeve for the Z77. We also have a diagram of how to install the dust filters which I will show you guys in just a moment. We also have the ASUS SATA mode notice, it shows you how to change your mode to AHCI, as well as the instruction manual which none of us will probably ever read. And the last item is the certificate of reliability, and this is actually looking pretty good, it's got like a gold text to it, it's actually pretty cool. And the last item is the Tough Series Motherboard 5 year warranty, you want to hang on to that. ASUS was kind enough to include four SATA cables for us to use. They're also in the color black, which is really nice because it matches the aesthetics of the motherboard. Let's get a closer look at the IO shield. This IO shield has to be one of the best looking IO shields I've ever seen. It's really, really cool and it matches my case perfectly. Up next is the adapter for the LEDs and whatnot. I don't think anybody wants to see this, so we're going to move right along. Now, I'm personally thankful that ASUS included a SLI bridge because I never had one and I now have two graphics cards. 
Here we have the Ultimate Force Tough Inside sticker, and am I the only one that collects the computer stickers? I never use them. Last but certainly not least, let's take the Sabertooth Z77 out of the plastic packaging. On the back of the motherboard, you can see we have the USB 2.0 slots, the BIOS flashback button, the USB 3.0 slots, as well as the eSATA slots, and we have the optical audio slot above the built-in graphics card, as well as the Ethernet port, and the other USB 3.0 ports, as well as the analog inputs. Next, let's get an overview of the sexy looks from the Z77. As you can see, it looks really, really good with the thermal armor. On the side of the motherboard, we have the SATA 3 and the SATA 2 connectors, as well as a USB hub connector and the 24-pin power connector for the motherboard. On the top of the motherboard, we have the 4-pin power connectors for any fan that you want to use, as well as the 8-pin power connector. On the bottom of the motherboard, we have the adapter for the power switch and the restart button, as well as two more ports for fans if you want to use them. We have three more USB hubs if you want to use more USB ports on your motherboard, as well as we have the HD audio slot on the other side of the motherboard, as well as the TB reader and the debug port. Next, I'm going to show you guys how to install the dust protectors. This is the dust protector for the RAM, and it came with four. I'm just going to show you guys how to install one. It's just like a normal piece of RAM. Next, I'm going to show you guys how to install the dust protectors for the PCI slots. Now, I'm also going to show you guys what it looks like when all the dust protectors are in. You also get to watch me fail putting these dust protectors in. Now that all the dust protectors are in, as you can see, it looks really, really good. They actually had aesthetics in mind when building this motherboard. I love the dust protectors too, because it extends the longevity of the connectors on your board. Next, I'm going to show you guys the mini fans that came with the motherboard. Now, these fans are supposed to dissipate the heat that the motherboard produces once it's on. Now, you can leave these on once you turn off the computer. The fans will continue running, and you can change the amount of time that they continue running in the BIOS. I'm going to screw in the mini fan, and I'm going to show you guys what it looks like once it's installed. Moving on over to the back of the motherboard once again, this mini fan has its own special little slot just like the first one did, but this one's a little bit more special because it has its own little cutout on the back of the motherboard where the USB ports are. Now this fan acts as a PC fan would. It takes the air underneath from the motherboard and blows it right out of the case. It's really, really cool and I really like this design. So here's what both of the mini fans look like once they're installed, and I really think ASUS did a really good thing here. This looks really awesome on my motherboard, and it works fantastic. It probably will extend the longevity of my motherboard. I can't say for certain, but I trust them that it will. So that's it. That's my rather long unboxing of the ASUS Sabertooth Z77 motherboard, and I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please give me a like and subscribe. I'd very much appreciate that, and I will see you guys in the next video.